October is finally giving us a little break with cozy game releases, but that does not mean that we don't still have a few worthy titles coming in soon. Hello you gorgeous human being, it's Miss Bubbles. In today's video, we'll be checking out new cozy games you can play in October along with a few picks that released last month, but we didn't get a chance to talk about them. But before we get started, make sure to squish the like button so we can smack the algorithm right in the face. Let's start our list with Bilkin's Folly. This is a narrative adventure for those of you who love a mix of exploration and puzzle solving. You'll be guiding Percy on a quest to find his missing relatives, but the cute thing is that you have this cute little dog that is helping you out along the way. Percy has cartography skills, so you'll be customizing your map to solve puzzles in different islands and uncover valuable treasures. And that cute little dog that we were talking about, he's not there just for the sake of it. The more time you spend with him, the more skills he'll unlock so he can help you out further. I have my eye on this one, but I'm not gonna lie, the puzzle Puzzles do worry me a little bit. Anyways, you can socialize with quirky people, go fishing, enter treasure hunting competitions, pick clocks, her cheap, and much more in Bilkin's Folly on October 2nd on PC, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, and Nintendo Switch. The next game is Hometopia, and it's developed and published by the sponsor of this video, Hometopia Inc. This is a co-op building simulation game where you play with up to four friends. The premise is to complete jobs by designing houses and building your own neighborhood. The more jobs you finish, the more items you'll unlock, and there are hundreds of objects including furniture, decorations, appliances, and more. The developers want to give you a cozy experience, so they emphasize ASMR sounds, which will make your building process satisfying with the use of sound effects that will just add to your immersion. You can also choose from different biomes for the perfect background for your dream designs. And to add more, you can also design the landscape, so you can choose from a wide range of flowers, trees, pathways, and outdoor furniture all while having the flexibility of using either the walking or flying mode to better control what and how you want to build. If this sounds like up your alley, make sure to grab Hometopia on September 27th and you can make use of a 15% discount in the first week of its early access release. Now if you like minimalist cozy games with a voxel art style then Station to Station might be the one for you. This is a relaxing and peaceful game all about building railway connections. Your journey will start with a handful of rulers structures. As you set stations and create connections, you will start to see growth and slowly expand and grow your area. Each level gives you different challenges, but these are all optional. If you just want to play the game to relax and chill, then you just don't have to worry about them. You can play this game however you want to. The voxel art style looks so charming and colorful and it's definitely caught my eye. You can play Station to Station October 3rd on PC. If you want another miniature cozy game, here's a tiny sticker tale. This one sends you on an adventure all about changing the world with the power of stickers. So you can turn anything around you into a sticker and use your creativity to solve different puzzles and help your friends. This is a wholesome bite-sized title with unique gameplay that just lets you change your surroundings and even decorate the island you're in however you want to. It's made by Ogre Pixel, the same devs behind Lonesome Village. We played this game on stream. It was really good. The only thing that I'm hesitant about is that these games really have a lot of puzzles and you know how I feel about puzzles but otherwise I think it looks really good so far. If this one tickles your fancy, a tiny sticker tail releases on October 4th on PC and Nintendo Switch. On October 5th we have another puzzle game with a twist dropping on PC called Sweet Dreams Alex. The premise of this one has got me intrigued. Basically you are Alex's dream builder so you need to protect her from nightmares by holding them off until the morning. To do so you have over 250 levels which are handcrafted into six worlds which will also help unfold Called a storyline. You can build your own levels while enjoying some lo-fi beats, and as much as this game looks intriguing, the puzzles once again worry me, so I'll probably watch a playthrough, but I won't be playing it myself. By the way, considering that this month has a lot of puzzle-focused cozy games, let me know if you like puzzles or not in the comment section. I really don't like them, but I'd love to hear from you. While this is not per se a new game release, Ooblitz is finally making its way to Steam. This is a farming sim, with a twist, it combines creature collection where Ooblets can help you on your farm. You'll also befriend townsfolk who will give you different side quests to complete, and instead of having typical combat we see in farming games, you will dance your way to victory. You can customize your character, decorate your farm, explore different areas, and play a variety of mini games to name a few. I own Ooblets both on PC and Nintendo Switch, but I just never had the chance to play it, so if you did, let us know how it is in the comment section and if you'd recommend more people to get it. Now for those of you who 
love Pikachu and want to go on a detective journey, Detective Pikachu Returns should be on your radar. You accompany Tim Goodman and Pikachu as they unravel the ongoing mystery behind the disappearance of Tim's father in Rhyme City. I've seen its gameplay preview and feel like this is the perfect bed gaming title to just play in bite-sized sessions. This is more of a cozy game with a light story, side quests to complete, and overall just using your logic to make connections and solve mysteries. I always wanted to try the one that released on the 3DS, but I don't know, something tells me that I might not like the story, like it might not capture my attention. So I hope that the storyline in this one is intriguing enough so I can pick it up. If you want to play it for yourself, you can get it on October 6th on Nintendo Switch. Now, if you're watching this video, then you love cute games with adorable characters, right? I played Little Gator game on stream and we had such a blast with it. This game is about you trying to get your sister to play games with you, but she's just too busy for you. So you end up gathering your other friends and embarking on a quest together. The gameplay is just so different, it's so unique, but it's also hard to explain what it is. Basically, you're exploring this island, you're crafting, gathering new abilities to traverse, and overall, you just have such a cute laid-back experience. I highly recommend this one. Little Gator Game is making its way to PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, and Xbox One on October 10th, and it's already on PC and Nintendo Switch with overwhelmingly positive reviews, and it's all for really good reasons. Now, if you like cooking games like I do, Manita's Kitchen brings us casual gaming with a mix of arcade and mini games. You play as a T-Rex who just wants to be the best pizza maker ever, but their hands are just so short that they make the task a little bit too difficult. The more you play, the more recipes and ingredients you unlock, and the game also brings a fun narrative, so you're going to learn more about your main character and their motives. What I like is that you also have mental state management where you have to manage your stress levels. I don't know how this is going to be implemented, but I always appreciate game development developers just bringing more attention into mental health. If you like what you saw so far, you can play Manita's Kitchen on October 23rd on PC. The next game is one that I own on PC, but I've been just holding back of playing more because I knew it's making its way onto the Nintendo Switch, and the time is finally here. We're talking about Dave the Diver. It's finally coming to Nintendo Switch on October 27th. If you don't know what this game is about, let me enlighten you. This is a casual single-player adventure RPG with deep sea exploration. You'll be fishing during the day and managing a sushi restaurant at night. But that's not it. You join Dave and his quirky friends as they seek to uncover the secrets of the mysterious blue hole and the story is actually pretty interesting. Keep in mind that the game also has some roguelike elements in combat so it might not be the coziest game for you. However, for me personally, I don't mind combat in my cozy games so I actually like this one. Alright, let's check out a couple of games that released in September but we did not get a chance to talk about them in the previous video. The first game is Prout Valley, which was released on PC and Nintendo Switch. This farming sim is all about growing your dream garden. It also adds a captivating story, handcrafted experiences, and cute graphics in the words of the dev. You're playing as a cute cat called Nico, so you need to help him gather resources to make his life on the island easier. I haven't gotten to playing this one yet, I don't know much about it, I don't know if I'm gonna have a chance to check it out soon, but if you played it, let us know how it's going so far, and if this piece to your interest, it does have a demo on Steam if you want to try it out for yourself first before diving in and buying it for yourself. Now, one of the games that I've been so eager to play and see just release and get a release date is Moonstone Island and it dropped out of nowhere on PC and I'm just like, yes, finally. I will be covering it before you buy for it in October. I'm gonna need some time because I have so many videos coming for you guys, but I'm so excited to try this one. So make sure you're subscribed because you don't want to miss out on that video. Anyways, I've featured this game about three times by now on the channel, so this is a creature collecting life sim set in an open world with a hundred islands for you to explore. You'll be making new friends, brewing potions, collecting spirits, and taking part in some card based encounters. And have you seen the graphics? They look pretty sick. Let me know which cozy games are you currently playing, are you gonna play any new ones, or do you have enough from September and you just don't need more games for October? Thank you again to the sponsor of this video, Hometopia Inc. Thank you for watching. And and always thank you to my bubbly YouTube and Patreon members who make videos like this possible. And a special shout out goes to The Game Dimension, Koru, Jacob, Stephanie, Stephen Dark One, and Jake Logan for going the extra mile. Until next time, stay bubbly.